We! And we are all Wisconsinites now. We rejected anyone who tells us that Wisconsin or America is broke or broken. It's just the opposite. We are rich with talent and ideas and hard work. And yes, love, love, love and compassion toward those who have, through no fault of their own, ended up as the least among us. But they, too, still crave what we all crave, our country back, our democracy back, our good name back, the United States of America, not the corporate states of America. The of America, the United States of America, the United States of America. So, how do we get this? Well, we do it with a little bit of Egypt here and a little bit of Madison there. And let us pause for a moment and remember that it was a poor man with a fruit stand in Tunisia who gave his life so that the world might focus his attention on how a government run by billionaires for billionaires is an affront to freedom, morality, and humanity. Thank you, Wisconsin. You have made, you have made people realize that right now is our last best chance to grab the final thread of what is left. What is left for us is who we are as Americans. For three weeks you have stood in the cold, slept on the floor, skipped out of town to Illinois. Whatever it took, you've done it. And one thing is certain, Madison is only the beginning! <laughs> you know how the funny thing about this is? Is that the rich have overplayed their hand. You know, they couldn't have been just content with the money that they raided from our treasury. They couldn't, they couldn't be satisfied by simply removing millions of jobs and shipping them overseas. No, they had to have more, didn't they? Something more, something more though they wanted than all the riches in the world. They had to have our soul. They had to strip us are our teachers of their dignity. They had to shut us up and shut us down so that we weren't even allowed at the table to bargain about, about a simple thing like classroom size or bulletproof vests for the entire police force or letting a pilot, a pilot, just get a few extra hours sleep so he or she can do their job, their $19,000 a year job. When I came in here on Delta Express, just like all those commuter planes, the starting pay is approximately $19,000 a year. They don't fly on those planes, do they? But you know, that pilot who's making 19000 a year, he or she has given up trying to get better pay. At this point, all they want is a few extra hours of sleep in their car in the parking lot of O'Hare Airport. That's what I have to listen to when I fly to places like this. And that's how despicably low that we've sunk. The wealthy couldn't be 10 
couldn't be content with just paying this man $19,000 a year. They wanted to take away his friggin' sleep. They wanted to demean and dehumanize them, just as they do the public workers here in this state. Because after all, he's just another slob. Finally, to the media who are here, please, please tell this story correctly. I've only been here an hour, and I'm shocked by what I've seen and I haven't seen watching this on television or reading it in the mainstream papers. You know, all the pundits said they were caught by surprise when Egypt revolted. And they don't still understand after nearly three weeks what's going on in Madison. They're completely, they're completely flummoxed by it because they're like, well, but, but there was an election in November. Whoa, what's going on here? Well, there's something happening here, and you don't know what it is, do you? Finally, America, again, isn't broke. The only thing that's broke is the moral compass of the rulers. And we, we aim to fix that compass and steer the ship ourselves from this point on. Please... Please never forget that as long as that Constitution of ours still stands, it's one person, one vote. And, and that is the thing that the rich hate the most about America. No matter how hard they try to buy the votes, no matter how hard they try to own the political process, when it comes down to it, it's one person, one vote. And there's a hell of a lot more of us than there are of them. Never forget that. Never forget that. Madison, thank you. Do not retreat. You are not alone. America is with you. America thanks you. Madison. 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 We're going to do this together. Don't give up. Please don't give up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Jared folks. We're going to take a picture of Michael in front of 50,000 people. I don't know what that was about, but um, thank you again. We love you, everything you've done. Don't stop, though. Don't stop. And to the Wisconsin 14, hang in there, buddies. Every one of you men and women. On behalf of the Wisconsin Wave and all the people of Wisconsin, thank you to Michael Moore for coming out and joining us here today. Correct! You have correct!